The Mortgage Guy here. Mortgage Mondays, episode 35, where I answer the question, should I refinance? Matt, The Mortgage Guy, Mortgage Mondays, episode 35, where I'm answering the question, should I refinance? And every single day in this low interest rate environment, you're seeing some goofball on TV, you're getting junk mail, uh, banner ads on your computer, they're popping up saying rates are low, refinance, 2.99% APR, uh, things of that nature they're telling you to refinance. It's not asking you the questions that should you know, get you to start thinking, is it a good time for me to refinance? They're just saying, just do it. So in my business, I see folks wanting to refinance for all types of reasons. Um, sometimes they're they're misinformed and they're really not in a position where a refinance makes sense. I'll go over five of the main reasons I see that people want to refinance. Uh, real briefly, um, they want to reduce their rate, lower their payment. They want to reduce their loan term, the length it takes to pay off the loan. Uh, they want to remove or reduce mortgage insurance. They want to remove somebody from the loan or they want to take cash out, do a cash out refinance. Those are the five main reasons that people are trying to do a refinance. I'll touch on all of them briefly. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. First and foremost, people want to reduce their interest rate and lower their payment. It makes sense. They see an ad, rates are low, refinance, you can save some money. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just a simple math equation. If you know that between um, processing, underwriting, some title fees, a refinance is going to cost in the ballpark of $3,000, you have to weigh how much you're going to save versus how much it's going to cost. And if you're going from a 5% interest rate to a 4% interest rate on a $300,000 loan, that 1% of 300000 is $3,000 a year in interest that you're going to save. So in that scenario, if you're going to stay in the house for any length at all over a year, it makes a lot of sense to refinance. Sometimes you get into a situation where you're only saving a half of a percent, you only owe 120,000 on the mortgage, so it might be a savings of $600 a year. If this is a property that you might sell in three years, probably not worth it to refinance. So, you know, even though you could save a little bit on the interest rate, in that scenario, I wouldn't recommend somebody you know, refinances just because they can lower the interest rate a smidgen. So the next one is uh, reducing the term. A lot of folks have had a 30-year mortgage that they got into eight years ago, nine years ago. So they've got 21 or 22 years left on this loan. They got a 4.75% interest rate. When we look at some numbers, they can usually refinance into a 15-year loan, paying off their loan six or seven years quicker at a lower interest rate, and a lot of times it's not even going to raise their payment because they're paying you know, three and a quarter versus 4.75. And so uh, they keep their payment exactly the same, shorten the term of that loan, get that thing paid off. Uh, the next one is removing or reducing mortgage insurance. And so if you bought, put less than 20% down or use an FHA loan, you're paying mortgage insurance. A lot of folks that bought in 2010, 11, 12, have plenty of equity. They could refinance in a conventional loan, remove mortgage insurance completely, and that usually saves them a couple hundred dollars. So that's a good one. Uh, the fourth thing, remove somebody from the loan, whether that's um, ex-husband, ex-wife, um, somebody who co-signed for you a few years back and you just would feel better, uh, refinance the loan in your name, get that person's name off of there so they're not liable. You sleep a little bit better at night, they sleep a little bit better at night. Uh, that one's quite common. And the fifth and final reason I see is people do a cash out refinance. And this one, uh, whether it's a home remodel, paying off high interest rate credit card debt, a um, variety of things that folks want cash out. Um, they've got plenty of equity in their home, so the lenders willing to lend them um, cash on top of uh, what they owe to, to do those things. So that's that. The five reasons quick synopsis of, of some scenarios. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. A lot of times uh, you'll get some information online that is marketing. 
They're trying to get you on the phone. They can sell you. But if you want good advice, good, honest opinion on whether or not you should refinance, call Matt the Mortgage Guy. Look forward to your call.